One of the biggest Bed Wars updates is releasing soon. This may change the entire game forever. I can't wait to show you the update. So this is a random number generator. Can we get 2,407 likes on this video? Go down below and smash that like button. And if you're new, subscribe, it does help a ton. Let's get started with today's news video. Bed Wars has a ton of different game modes. Some are fun, some are really boring. I have made four cool game mode suggestions. Number one is Bed Wars Tower Defense. On Roblox, there is a game called Bed Wars Tower Defense. The objective is to protect your bed. All the towers in this game are based off of real Bed Wars kits. It's a really cool concept for a Bed Wars game mode. Tower defense games on Roblox are super popular. The second idea is Voidless Bed Wars. A lot of players really hate the void. What if Bed Wars adds a game mode that has no void? It's just a plain solid map. The devs should definitely try it. The next idea is Relic Wars. Basically, every single minute, a random effect is applied to the game. It can be positive, negative, or neutral. For example, let's say one minute passed. Now the entire server is time too fast for one minute. It's just Bed Wars about RNG. Bed Wars has a ton of different bows in the game. What if there was a game mode about bows? It is called Bow Wars 1v1. Every single minute your bow does change. The first player to get 10 bow kills wins the game. So those are my game mode suggestions. Comment down below your favorite one. So this is the Infernal Shielder kit on Bed Wars. It got reworked two times. When holding out your shield, you slowly fill up this bar. If a player damages you, the bar will fill up a lot quicker until you have the leap ability. A lot of players never really knew this. You can travel halfway across map with just one ability. If I press my ability keybind, there is a dragon circle. In third person, I can't really control it until I go in first person. I can move this circle all the way to the center of the map. And once I click, I get teleported that far. When you're about to teleport, a player can't even damage you. It's a easy way to escape any enemies. I do want to mention one more thing. If you have free cam on Roblox Bed Wars, there's a crazy glitch that you can do. The ability has exactly no range. Since you can't really aim that far, it doesn't really work the best. But if I use my free cam, I can move this thing around the entire map. If I press down one time at Ping Team's base, I will be teleported all the way there in seconds. This must be the most powerful glitch in the entire game. I do want to point one more thing out. The devs gave this kid some cool VFX. Here's it before and here is the after. They did change it up a little bit. You can barely see the outer ring. Infernal Shielder is free this week. Use it while it's free. The holiday event job 2023 has officially ended. All of your missions are gone. If you have any extra coins, you still have one week to spend them. At the same time, it's your last chance to buy the Bed Wars Holiday Bundle. I believe there's 12 hours left. If you don't buy this bundle, you can never get these items ever again. In the recent Bed Wars update, the devs have changed the keybinds. A lot of players are really angry about this. There is an explanation to why the devs did this. For example, playing as the Terra Kits, to throw your blocks, you have to press the F keybind. That is the exact same keybind as the shop. When I open the shop, I might accidentally throw my blocks. Another issue is that most keybinds are really far away from each other. When it comes to ability keybinds, they are super close to AWSD. I know the change is very upsetting. In a few weeks, players will get used to it. With that being said, I do have some really good news. It's about custom keybinds. Why can't us players pick our own keybinds? That would solve all of the issues. The devs do have plans for custom keybinds. They may be released sometime in the future. That will be a great change for all players. The devs also changed the keybinds for controller players. Instead of helping them, it only made it worse. When playing on controller, you cannot jump when using your abilities. Let's say a player is chasing you and you're trying to use the ability on controller. That will actually slow you down, letting the player catch up to you. There has to be a better way. I'm giving away two free kits on Roblox Bed Wars. You must like this video. You have to subscribe. Turn that bell and set it to all. Watch the entire video to the end. Then comment your Roblox username in the kit that you want. Winner chosen in two days. Good luck. In most Roblox games, you're able to AFK them. A good example being Roblox Blade Bowl. They have a separate AFK world. Just by spending time in this world, you receive free coins. 
the more time you spend, the better the rewards are. Here is why this is a great feature. Roblox games always have player drops depending on the time of day. By adding an AFK feature, games like Blayball can maintain so many players playing at all times. At the end, this will boost their game to the front of the page. A lot more players will see the game on Roblox. If you have Roblox Premium, just by playing Roblox games, the devs make money off of you playing. So if Bedwars did add one, this would stop any AFK grinder on Bedwars matches. Let's say for every 10 minutes I stand on this podium, I receive free Battle Pass XP, and maybe there could be some bonuses, every 3 hours equals 1 lucky crate. This would boost Bedwars player count by so much, it could actually revive Bedwars. The devs do have plans to add an AFK area in the game, just to prevent AFK match grinders. This is not confirmed yet, there's a high chance the devs might add one. At the end of the day, just AFK Bed Wars get that easy XP every single night. The last two years, clans have stayed the exact same on Bed Wars. There's nothing to really do with a clan. There is a kit shop, which kind of is a scam. The only good thing is the Battle Pass XP boost. The Bed Wars comp community is slowly dying. Clans are the last strong aspect. This right here is Pixel Viper. He makes a lot of Bed Wars concepts. Here we have one of his concepts for clans. There are three new tabs shop clan wars and leaderboard if you don't know what clan wars is it's basically a clan battling another clan if the devs do have clan wars that would be so much fun think of it like rank but just for clans if they do add prizes a lot of players would participate adding a clan shop would be awesome imagine a third leaderboard in the lobby that has clan wars this would revive every single clan on bed wars at the same time bring back so many competitive players back into the game one of the bed wars devs did see this and they love the idea so much the devs have plans for a clan update in the future they are hoping for it to be in february once this update does drop, this will change the entire future of the game forever. I do have three Bed Wars clans. The form to apply is on my Discord server, link in description, space is filling up quickly. As of right now, you may wonder, what are the top three most used kits and the top three least used kits? For the top three most used kits, it is Evelyn, Yuzi, and Yumiko. And for the top three least used kits, Trapper, Raven, and Jack. So now you know. In the Bed Wars Constant Creator Program, there are two new creators. With the help from me, I got them in the program. The first one is Rex, and the second one is Sir Skittles. The requirement is 50k subscribers. Since a lot of content creators are leaving the game, they are making some exceptions. Anyways, huge welcome to the content creator program. In 2022, Bed Wars had a Lunar New Year update. This update added the Notorious Yuzi kit. When it came to 2023, we really didn't have a Lunar New Year update. 2024 Lunar New Year is on February 10th, one day after the Bed Wars update. In the recent Bed Wars update, they did buff the Infernal Shielder kit. For every single Lunar New Year, there's a different mascot. 2022 was the Tiger, 2023 was the Rabbit, and for 2024, it is the Year of the Dragon. Looking back at Infernal Shielder, the entire kit is basically a dragon. We do have a leak for a Lunar New Year lobby, possibly replacing the Winter Lobby. I think for 2024, a Lunar New Year update is confirmed. Last up today, we have some Bed Wars leaks. Credit to RGL leaks. First, we have Comet Hero and Comet Villain. These might not be for Bed Wars. Relating back to Lunar New Year's, we have the Lunar New Year weapons, which are the name in the game file. Then we have the Rapier Swords. I think the devs are hiding a secret. There could actually be a Lunar New Year's update. And the last leak is for a Bed Wars Season 10 lobby. They are already starting this early. This could actually be a huge season. It might be Bed Wars Chapter 2. Why would the devs start this early in advance? So those are all the Bed Wars leaks. Comment down below what do you think. Anyways, that is today's video. Drop a like and subscribe. You start coming out and buying Robux. And I'll see all of you next time. Peace.